Good morning, folks. We're back from camping. What you are watching here is the Columbia Glacier in Alaska. Link will be below if you're interested. Another Earth Observatory article here detailing pollution particulate effects on surface heating and the surface air temperature. It'd be nice if the UN could actually do some good here instead of just talking. I've run across this black hole article before. It's a bit of a mind job, but it kind of makes sense and it's a very good read. As always, be keeping up on that other thing that could make 2012 something special. Pulling up the alert map, that subduction zone is very predictable, isn't it? The big quakes are still happening there, a 6.5 in Chile last night. Also up north, this storm is twice as strong as it was two days ago, getting to be that time of year. The Arabian Sea saw a moderate quake close to the Gulf of Aden, and Europe saw a few four-pointers isolated on the outer longitudes of Greece. I left you guys right about here, and the sun apparently couldn't wait for my butt to get out of town. A powerful M5 blast created a huge coronal mass ejection, sent protons and electrons racing towards Earth. We are still in an official radiation storm. This shows the forecast track for the CME. Earth is that little dot on the right. This kind of appears to show a miss, but NASA is claiming it may give us a glancing blow in the coming days. Having a look at the Earth-facing disk, there are multiple filaments and active regions that pose a significant threat right now. In fact, watch the center of the disk, you will see an eruption at the end just a few moments ago. This one is coming at Earth. Does anyone not know about the eclipse on Sunday? Well, you might also know that after that, Mercury conjoins Jupiter just as the Moon conjoins Venus. Afterwards, Mercury comes in to conjoin the Sun, and June starts off with Mercury and Venus together as a monthly lunar close approach to the Earth comes just one day before a full moon, and another eclipse, this one lunar. And just one day later, of course, Venus will transit the Sun. Are you watching closely? That's the news, folks. Be safe.